I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I hope you're coping and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know about this love. Today's reading is going to be um, communication from the Divine Masculines, what the Divine Masculines would love, what words they'd love to express to you today. Um, so I'm very excited about doing it and, you know, I have, I do feel the Divine Masculines have got so much to express and I have been gifted and blessed with you know expressing how the divine masculines really do feel um, um, because I do have this deeper understanding and I am very connected with the divine masculine energy so um, I'm going to crack on and do it I'm going to be using George from Blue Ice Tarot's deck um, and I'm going to be using Liz Harrison's deck from Guided by Angels Beautiful Liz and I'll be using my deck as well. Um, so I really do hope that you're having a good day and I hope you enjoy the reading. And thank you so much for all your love and support that you give me. All the comments of you sharing, how you've been feeling, if the readings resonate. You all mean so much to me and I love each one of you so much. Um, so thank you so much. And all I should do is say thank you so much, but I don't know what else to say, guys, because you just mean so much to me and I just want to express to you how grateful I am. So enjoy this reading and have a blessed day. I love you guys. See ya. I'm here ready to do the reading, guys. Um, so I'm going to start shuffling. I'm going to start with George's deck, like I said. Divine Masculine Message to Divine Feminine. So I'm going to shuffle. Um, and I just want to say, I do use the labels Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put into your situation how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. And if any of you guys would like a private reading for a clearer message and a little bit more guidance for your beautiful, unique Twin Flame journey, just email me. It's in the description box down below and I can book you in. And my readings are timeless as well, so it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading. If you feel connected to me and you understand me, because I am deep, <laughs> and the message resonates, it means it's for you. So, let's see what the Divine Muskins want you to know right now during this reading, this moment. What would the Divine Muskins love to express to you? What would they love? What words would they love to say to you? Nice clear message, please. What would the Divine Muskins love to say to you? Right now in this moment, what the Divine Masculines love to say to you right now. I hear you telepathically. I'm in limbo. <laughs> They're in limbo, guys. I'll take that one. You help, you've helped me more than you'd ever know. So... And I'm going to take these ones as well because they really want to come out. And as I said to you before I did the reading, um, there's so much to be expressed between the between both of you at the moment. Divine Masculines really do want to express themselves. I will always remember how special you are. It's at the bottom of the deck. Wherever you are, I'm with you. Let's move those down. And I'm dreaming of you, yeah. So they're thinking about you a lot. And they're receiving your telepathic messages. They're hearing the messages that you're sending. So if you are sending your divine masculine messages, they're hearing them, guys. They want you to know that. And they're feeling like they're in limbo today. They're feeling just all over the place. And as I said, they've got so much to express and they just don't know where to start. They just don't know where to start. So they're feeling like all over the place. You know what that feeling's like, guys. We just feel like you're in limbo. You just don't know where to start. And um, they do really want to get started with this now. And you've helped them more than you know. You've helped your Divine Masculine so much because they're really having this relationship with themselves now. They're giving themselves love. They're allowing themselves to accept love. And their heart is open to receiving this love now. And this is, this is so different for the Divine Masculines. It's so different for them because they haven't experienced love. And... You are feeling the same as well. You, you can't put into words how much 
love you feel for your divine masculine both of you are just like blown away by this feeling this unexplainable love and the divine masculines you know they want to thank you and they want you to know that you've helped them have this relationship with themselves to find themselves to learn about themselves um so they are thanking you and they are so grateful and they do want to express this to you they really want to share this with you how much you've helped them because they're giving to themselves now and feeling love so deeply because they're feeling deserving and worthy of this love and it's all because of what you're doing divine feminines because you're having this relationship with yourself as you know whatever you do for yourself you do for your twin your divine masculine and they're so grateful and wherever you are i'm with you and that means that you could be really feeling your divine masculine's energy really feeling each other and that's because you are moving towards each other because you're making your way back to who you truly are your true self home and you know and they can hear your messages telepathically you know they can hear this message so you're really feeling each other and listening to each other right now and they want you to know that so if you have, like I said, if you have been communicating with your divine masculine telepathically, this is a clear message for you today. That they're listening and they're feeling you as well. They can feel you. And they're dreaming of you. They're dreaming about you. Just, not just at night time, they're dreaming of you in the daytime, you know, and that causes them to be in limbo as well because they're daydreaming and they're fantasizing and visualizing how things and how they'd love things to be with you. And that causes them to feel like everything's so powerful and overwhelming and they just don't know where to start. So they're feeling like they're in limbo, but they're dreaming of you. The same as what you do, guys, you know that feeling where you're just dreaming of each other and, you know, thinking about what it's going to be like when you put all this behind you when you are actually together experiencing this true, pure, unconditional love without any fear. And like I said, they could be dreaming of you at night time you're experiencing intense dreams about each other, really connecting through dreams. So obviously a lot of cards come out. I didn't expect to pull as many as that from, from George's deck. So there's a lot to be said today. So I'm going to be using beautiful Liz. Harrison's from Guided by Angels uh, messages to see what else the Divine Masculines would love to communicate with you today. Let's move that down so you can see. What else would the Divine Masculines, what words would they love to express today to the Divine Feminines? Nice clear message please. I miss you, yeah. <laughs> Which is causing them to feel this, you know, despair, sort of like this, where that's why limbo's come up because they're just like, oh my goodness. I just want this sorted out. I will love you for the rest of my life. How beautiful. I will love you for the rest of my life and. My home is with you. <laughs> My home is with you. They know that they know that their home is with you in all aspects, guys. <laughs> they know how they feel when, when they're with you and they want to share their home with you. They want to make a home with you. And at the bottom of the deck is I will come forward in time. So yeah, they are coming forwards. But in this time where they are processing things and accepting and feeling comfortable with this love, they're feeling this, you know, this I'm in limbo. <laughs> um, because these feelings and this love is so overwhelming, it's so intense. It makes them feel all over the place. They just don't know where to start, guys. <laughs> But they, they know that their home is with you and they're missing you so much. And they're so determined to make their way back home to who they truly are. This is why there is silence. 
or you could be experiencing a challenge right now between you and your divine masculine is because they're making their way back home to who they truly are. They know what they want and they do know that they're on the right path and they are, make, they are coming home to you guys because they're saying I will love you for the rest of my life because they have this beautiful deeper understanding of this relationship they know it's so deep so deep and this passion that they feel for you so intense because it's so pure it's unlike anything they've ever experienced in their life before and it is a lot to cope with to put all this together all these different emotions and feelings and pushing through fear and seeing beyond illusions of things that have made them stuck in the past but they love you so much and they, they will love you for their their life because they know that this is a deep spiritual soul relationship they know that you're one and that's why they're saying wherever you are I am I'm with you <laughs> because you're one so allow yourself to feel your divine masculine. Be aware of how you're feeling and what's going on within you and outside of you. Allow yourself to have this experience with your divine masculine by feeling each other. And they're, miss <clears throat> they're missing you so much. They miss you. And some of you may be thinking, well, it doesn't seem like that to me in the 3D. It looks like they're just getting on with their life. They do miss you. You have to, to fight. You have to connect with higher love. You have to have this deeper understanding of what really is going on, the truth. Remove the fear and see the truth. See the love. Feel the love. And you know that when you're being honest and when you're being true to yourself that they miss you and they just want to be with you. Because they know their home is with you and they know they're going to love you for the rest of their life and they're so grateful for everything you've done you know for them you know you've helped them more than you know sorry i'm i'm shuffling i'm going to be using my deck now your other self what your other self wants you to know what else is what the divine mustings love to say Right now, in this moment, what words would they love to express to the Divine Feminines? Nice, clear message, please. What would the Divine Masculines love to communicate today to the Divine Feminines? You are the one that I want. So this has come out twice in the shorts. So, you know, they know that, well, they know you, that, that you're the one that they want. What we have is magic, yes. <laughs> and what else is going to come out? I can't wait to create special moments with you even when we're doing boring jobs. And this is one that's very special to me. Um, and at the bottom of the deck is, I want you to be the mother of my children. So that will only apply to some of you. So just put that into your situation and how that resonates. I want you to be the mother of my children. So your divine masculine you could be thinking about wanting to have children with you. That is the biggest compliment from your divine masculine, that, you know, to think that you, that they would love you to be the mother of their children, or you could be already a mother, that you are the most beautiful mother. Um, but just to feel that way, that is a very big compliment to you. So you are the one that I want. Yes, you are the one that they want. And this is what's so beautiful about this card is because of this understanding and they're not burying this anymore. They've always known that you're the one that they want, but they buried it. They buried it so deep because they wasn't allowing themselves to experience love because they were depriving themselves of love because they didn't feel worthy of this love or deserving of this love because of what you was experiencing within you. But they're actually feeling this now because you're feeling this. You're allowing yourself to feel because you have been, you've had this huge transformation and 
You're just allowing yourself to receive love now. And you know that you're worthy of this love and deserving of this love, which is radiating out into the universe. This love that you feel for your divine masculine, you know, you're expressing, you know, your divine masculine is the one you want and this is what they're doing now to themselves because some of you may not have heard the communication, you know, have, have, some of you may not have heard from your divine masculine because they're still in silence, because they're still processing, preparing and making sure that everything's perfect before they do come towards you. But so many of you had, have um, shared with me that you have had communication from your divine masculine, but it's so beautiful that they they are, you know, you're the one that I want, however it seems in 3D. Don't fear, don't doubt, you are the one. And what we have is magic, yeah. What you have just feels so magical to both of you. They want you to know that they feel that as well. It's just magic how you come into each other's lives. How God put this in place for you to experience this beautiful, intense love. Such a blessing. And what you have between you is magic. It's so special, so unique and so precious. Because it's so different from any other love you've experienced before. And I can't wait to create special moments with you, even when we're doing boring jobs and that is so special, isn't it, that card? Because nothing is boring when you're with your Divine Masculine. <laughs> Nothing's boring when you're with your Divine Masculine or your Divine Feminine. Every moment is so beautiful and you cherish every moment. You really are in the present moment. Because you just love being with each other. And nothing's boring, like I said. You just enjoy so... You just enjoy it and everything just seems so romantic and so full of love and you just feel so alive. You just feel on top of the world and you just feel like you can do anything because this love is so powerful and they're just looking forward to doing the, those boring jobs that we call, you know, the chores, the things that we don't normally like doing. And the Divine Muskins want to create these memories with you and make them special by doing those boring, that, that boring stuff making fun of it, changing the outlook of doing the boring jobs, <laughs> making it playful. So they've had a lot to say today and I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm going to get a pick, I'm going to pick a card for you as well, Divine Feminines, to see what you need to know right now in this moment to help you stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know. And I'm going to be using Archangel Michael for this um so i'm going to start shuffling because archangel michael is here to protect us and keep us safe and protect us from the fear and the doubt that we experience so what is it today that we need to know what do the divine feminines need to know right now in this moment of this reading to help themselves focus to believe and trust in what they already know what is the guidance today for the Divine Feminines? I did do a short actually for the Divine Feminines and it was forgive. So I'm interested to see what comes out for this today as well. <clears throat> for this reading. Yeah. <laughs> the Romance Angels. Yes. <laughs> You're going to be happy with that, guys. I know. And positive thoughts create positive results. So watch your thoughts, guys. Keep them positive. Allow the fear, the doubt, fears, um, thoughts to come in and remove them. Just remove them. Be the watcher of your thoughts. It's so important because when you're thinking and feeling positive, you're radiating that out again to the world and you just get that back. Get positive stuff back to you. The law of attraction. And the romance angels are helping you. <laughs> the romance angels are helping you, divine feminines. They're supporting you. So for this, I'm going to actually use the guidebook for you, divine feminines. Let's see what it says in the book. Romance angels. 
I think it's page 70. So let's see. This card validates that your prayers concerning your love life has been heard and answered. There you go, guys. You needed that today. I know you did. Ethereal beings called the romance angels who specifically work with matters of the heart. These angels are giving you intuitive guidance to prepare you for great love. Yes, aren't they? You can feel that, guys. They're preparing you for this great love. To manifest a soul partner romance, you must express the qualities you desire in a partner. So the romance angels may ask you to make healthful lifestyle changes, focus on self-improvement, learn additional interesting hobbies or make new friends. The more that you listen to your intuition, the faster your prayers for the loving relationship will be answered. And the prayer is, Dear guardian angels of my soul partner, thank you for preparing for me for my soul partner and me for, for love for giving us motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognise each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful, isn't it, guys? You're, really, you're feeling both of you are just really wanting to be intimate with each other and just to love each other and express how you feel with each other. Just by being with each other, just being still with each other, being peaceful with each other, without anything, without having to say anything, just being close with each other and experiencing that trust without any toxicity or negativity, which is fear, just to be so peaceful and to drown in this love together. <laughs> To let go and just allow yourself to drown in this love and, <laughs> and feel safe. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this beautiful reading, um, the communication from the Divine Masculine. I know you all love the communication and it is always so beautiful and so deep. Um, as you know guys, I'm always thinking about you and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and like I said if any of you would like a clearer message for a bit of guidance for your unique twin flame journey just email me it's in the description box down below and I can book you in so I'm sending you my love my support my strength and light and I love you all so very much see ya oh that's your soul saying oh